This is seriously one of the most mysterious, sensual fragrances I have ever smelled, so stay tuned. Hey, what's going on guys? Hunter here and welcome back to my channel where I upload weekly fragrance content. So hit the subscribe button down below and also be sure to follow me over on my Instagram page. But today we are reviewing my first review for a BDK on the channel. And of course it is Grish Charnot x Straight, which is actually a flanker to probably the most popular from the entire house, the original Grish Charnot. And that fragrance was loved by so many people that they decided to make it an x Straight version of it, which is the only x Straight from the entire collection. Unfortunately, I never got my nose on the original Grish Charnel. However, the x Straight was actually the one that piqued my interest a lot more. I do want to also mention this was sent over by So Avant Garde, who's the distributor for BDK Parfums, as well as so many other brands. And I hooked you guys up with a discount code. Use code FRAGHUNTER20, and that's going to get you 20% off Grish Charnel x Straight, which I think is the best price that I've ever seen with that 20% off, as well as anything else on the entire website. So be sure to use that code and get some savings. Let's go over some information. Now, this was launched in 2022, and I remember when it came out, it got a ton of hype, and it definitely piqued my interest, so I'm so happy to have a bottle in my collection now. As far as the retail price on the only size they come in, which is the 100 ml, it is gonna run you $280, but if you use that discount code, you get 20% off of that price. The concentration is, of course, an extract to parfum. However, it is concentrated at 30% perfume oils, which is very, very concentrated. And the perfumer is Matthew Bajoy, which I am probably butchering, but they have actually created one of my favorite Joe Malones, which is Myrrh and Tonka, which I do own. So you already know a great nose went behind Grish Charnel Extract. So with all that information, let's go ahead and look at the packaging and presentation you get with this fragrance now. So take a look at the box. I love the aesthetic. It fits perfectly with Grish Charnel x Straight with the black, with the silver accents. And of course you have like the ingredients and the notes right here on the front. x Straight to Parfum 100 ml bottle. Nothing on the bottom. On the side it just says x Straight to Parfum over and over and over again to remind you this stuff is no joke. On the back you will have your barcode and probably a batch code right there to authenticate your product to see when it was produced. And then the same thing on the side, but when you take the sleeve off, you will find this box is very similar to the outer sleeve with the extract de parfum on the sides, just not with the silver accent. And then it is a drawer that you pull out on the side and your bottle is housed in there. So the box presentation looks incredible. Let's look at the bottle now. So take a look at the bottle. It is your traditional BDK bottle. So this one, however, is the only one that comes in a black glass colorway, which looks incredible. Of course, Grish Charnel stickered right there on this side. BDK Parfums Paris. On the bottom, you will find your sticker with some of your information and batch code, and these are made in France. On top of the cap, you do have the BDK logo as well. Nothing inside of the cap. These caps are very heavy. Nothing on the atomizers, but these do click into place extremely snugly. In the top, you have cardamom, black tea, and fig. In the middle, you have iris, vetiver, and cistus and canis. And in the base, you have sandalwood, vanilla, tonka bean, cedarwood, and patchouli. And this will be classified as a spicy woody. So let's spray this and test out these atomizers. Fantastic atomizers, guys. They are pressurized, so of course you can spray a little bit of juice. Or if you want, like I do, spray a ton of juice. So let's go and see what this Grish Charnel x Straight is all about. I'm going to be straight up with you guys. I fell in love with this fragrance immediately when I got it in. This opening is so spicy, so sexy and seductive from that cardamom note. Of course, when you think of cardamom, you may think of like London Wheat Alone by Yves Saint Laurent. It's a very similar seductive cardamom in this one as well, which makes this fragrance so alluring, so sexy and attractive. Along that spicy cardamom, it is very green and herbal and that's coming from, of course, that black tea note. So if you love tea fragrances, I think you will want to check this one out because the tea is very prominent in the opening as well. Alongside a very lactonic fruity fig note that just goes along with the whole green aesthetic in the opening of Grish Charnel x Straight. I know the fig was extremely dominant in the original, at least from what I've heard in here. However, it is a little bit more toned down and kind of behind the cardamom and that black tea. But it's definitely still there and it still, I guess, carries that Grish Charnel DNA in this one. Just a dark, very mysterious opening that is just so intriguing to the nose. After around 30 minutes or so when you get into the mid is where you iris lovers are gonna love this fragrance because you get a very creamy, 
slightly waxy iris in here that is so luxurious guys actually the iris is very very dominant that's like the main thing i started to pick up after around 30 minutes like i said the iris just comes through immediately and it just kind of goes along with all of the other notes in here for a nice creamy lactonic scent profile with that fig iris is so creamy so realistic if you like something like dior om the original prada Lum, valentino Womo, this is a fragrance you will absolutely adore as well especially for the iris lovers but also in the mid is where things start to darken up a little bit and match this bottle presentation because you get a very smoky dry vetiver in here it's not like a wet vetiver it's a very smoky dry vetiver and this fragrance is smoky through and through i'm surprised there's no incense or anything working alongside that vetiver just because of how smoky this fragrance comes across it's probably the most smoky i've ever smelled a vetiver be in my life through my entire fragrance journey yeah that vetiver just smells like it was lit on fire and it's just smoking like you have a, a field of vetiver on fire that's the vibe I get along with that nice luxurious iris, which kind of just play together very, very nicely. And then finally, when you get into the base of this, which does take a while being an extract the parfum, those layers are going to stay for some time. But when you finally eventually do get there and see how this one settles on skin, it's very, very creamy. This fragrance is creamy through and through from the top, mid, and that base with the fig being creamy in the top, that iris being creamy in the mid, and in the base, it's creamy from the sandalwood and a lot of a spicy, creamy vanilla as well. Where this one sets apart from the original Gris Charnel is with that patchouli. It's an extremely earthy green patchouli. And if you know me, I'm a fan of patchouli. I love when a patchouli is dominant in fragrances. This one, it's there. I wouldn't necessarily say it's the most dominant in the base just because of how creamy it is from the vanilla and sandalwood. But it does add a nice ump and earthiness to the base to kind of round it out and create a very nice dry down. Just as far as scent profile goes alone, guys, this is one of my new favorite discoveries as of lately. Like I said, I absolutely fell in love with this fragrance. It has everything that I adore in perfumery, all bottled up in Gris Charnel Extrait, and kind of has me curious on how the original Gris Charnel smells compared to this one. So eventually I might have to get my nose on the OG Gris Charnel to see what the hype was all about with that. But I'm just so happy to have this part of my collection because it's gonna have a perfect spot for what I'll use it for in my rotations. Now let's talk about the best seasons and occasions to wear Gris Charnel Extrait. This is definitely more targeted towards like a colder evening, colder months, colder seasons like fall and winter. However, if you really wanted to and you love this one so much, you could easily pull it off in the spring especially like spring evenings when it is a little bit more chilly outside but definitely stay away from like hot spring days and especially the summertime because this one is thick it can be cloying because of how creamy it is so yeah just perfect for a colder months and colder evenings for occasions for me personally since i have so many fragrances this is going to be strictly for a formal event a formal occasion there's nothing casual about this at all guys this is probably one of the most formal fragrances i have ever smelled perfectly for dressing up in a suit a tie going to a wedding however especially now this is what i mentioned this will be perfect for a rotation for me it has a perfect spot for a date night situation I honestly think this is probably one of the best date night fragrances I have ever smelled, guys. If you're looking for a great, mysterious, seductive, alluring, sexy date night fragrance, Gris Chanel Extrait is the fragrance you'll want to check out. I'm telling you, if you're out on a date with a girl, if you're a guy watching this, she will fall head over heels for your fragrance. It will just leave her in awe and like just kind of wondering what in the world is this guy all about and leave you mysterious. For gender and age groups, this one is unisex. I can definitely see a woman wearing this one 1000% because of the creaminess, the vanilla, the iris, but it's also probably leaning more on the masculine side. So unisex leaning masculine just because how like spicy, smoky this fragrance is, how earthy it is in the dry down as well. So I think the original Gris Charnel is probably unisex leaning feminine. This one's unisex leaning masculine. Which is exactly why the Extrait appealed personally more for me. I could have chosen the original, but there was something so intriguing, something I just wanted to smell about this one, and it just kind of spoke to me. So yeah, definitely leans on the more masculine side of things. For age groups, it kind of goes alongside the occasions being on the formal side. So this one absolutely leans more mature. 
This actually smells like a businessman, somebody that is very wealthy, probably high up in status. So yeah, this definitely means business. I don't really see a teenager wearing this one or even probably enjoying or liking this one because of how unique and different it is. Of course, usually the younger crowds are targeted towards more like Dior Sauvage, those freshies, those easygoing crowd pleasers. This one though is somebody that means business and is a little bit older. Now wrapping things off, of course, on the performance of Gris Charnel X Straight. So for my testing, I have tested this for a few days on skin to see how it performs and develops and etc. I got easily over 12 hours of longevity on skin. So this stuff does wear like an X Straight. It's very dense, very deep and extremely heavy wearing. So really wouldn't expect anything else from an X-Straight fragrance, so don't worry about that. The longevity is there for sure. However, the projection where I was a little bit let down, it didn't really project that much or heavy. That's always the downside. You can have the best of both worlds most of the time. With an X-Straight, they last a very long time, but they do sit a little bit closer to the skin because what makes the fragrance project is actually the alcohol concentration in it. So when you have an extrait, it has less alcohol volume and more perfume oils, rather than something that's like an eau de cologne where it has like 2% perfume oils and like 98% alcohol volume. And that stuff usually screams off the skin for maybe like 20 minutes and then it just kind of completely disappears. This one though, I got decent kind of projection for maybe two hours and that's pushing it. Then after that two hour mark, it's kind of like intimate in your scent bubble. But that kind of plays along with what I said as far as the occasions go, being a perfect date night fragrance. It will make whoever you're with want to get closer inside of your intimate scent bubble and kind of smell your fragrance because that's just how alluring this stuff is. So no complaints with the performance. I love a fragrance that does last a long time and not maybe necessarily project that much because there is reasons and places for a fragrance like this to fit perfectly for. But that's gonna do it for my review of Gris Charnel x by BDK Parfums. Let me know down below if you ever tried the original Gris Charnel or the x or both of them and how they compare because I'm very curious on that. So yeah, we'll talk about that stuff down in the comments below. Besides that though, leave a like on the video, subscribe below if you haven't already, and I'll see all of you back here in my next upload. See ya.